out there. So please be sure to get my book on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Um, if you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as prices are in the description box below. If you'd like to drop a donation, right, to my cash app, my cash app is somewhere, one of those two places. Feel free to drop that, regardless of how much it is that you give through PayPal or cash app or whatever, your donations and the people who come to me and get private readings from me go a long way. Believe that. All right. So, the, and I appreciate it. So the cards that I come up with for the Aries is for Aries, just in case if you didn't know, I have a lot of Aries people, you know what I mean? Who, who, who love my work. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? The Nine of Swords, the Two of uh, Swords, the Star, the Knight of the the Knight of Swords, the, the uh, King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Fool, and last but not least, uh, the World. Interesting. <laughs> so interesting. The two opposed or the two extreme tarot interesting as the last two cards interesting all right so let's get into this for aries the nine of swords the two of swords the star you're hoping that things will turn around for you in your life you're looking at things right now as a great tragedy what that's what it is that we are going to get into the knight, of, the knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the tragedy that you are looking into or you think that you're gaining so much perspective is about, again, your love life, also your business, also your peership, your friendships. You Aries are in a better situation right now because you're actually very close to figuring it out. And what you don't necessarily see is the problems that you think that you are having either doesn't exist or you're very close or you, or you just need something small to essentially uh, figure it out. And it's usually right up underneath your nose. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles represents this being a situation for uh, you, where the Eight of Pentacles is, is that if you're missing out on relationships or anything like that, or love or anything that you want to create, you can recreate it again. Like, you know, if, if, you know, as long as you're physically existing here, you can always get another job. You can always make new friends. You can always get another romantic partner it's just that for you aries the end of the world is pretty much happening to you because you falsely perceive it as ha as happening to you but you you're, you're wishing for this thing to happen without even understanding that you don't even necessarily have to really wish for it you will start attracting it you know what i mean you but the thing is that you have to put in some form of effort in order for you to do that you know Start up something to where, you know, you know, share your ideas, you know, jump on YouTube here yourself, share your ideas and you're going to have, uh, you know, obviously you're going to have to screen people because a lot of people tend to be cuckoo on here. But, um, you know, when, when you meet people who have something to contribute to you and you can contribute to, to them, it's a give and take. So it's not a matter of you're lonely in the world, right? The Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups represents, again, just that. The Four of Pentacles is the problem that you're having is you're refusing to see it. The Nine of Cups represents how, you know, what, you, what you're what you refusing to see is that a lot of people really do like you, you know, and they really do have a lot of, uh, a lot of appreciation for you. A lot of people who you meet usually do like you, you know, it's just that, you know, you just think that they don't or you're questioning it. And then the last and then the last two cards are the are the fool and the world. Now these are the most extreme because this is zero, all right? And this is uh 
21, aka 22, right? 22nd, right? If you count zero, which you have to, because the fool is a part of the major arcana, right? So, um, so what I'm seeing here is, um, the fool, see, the fool represents absolute spirit and potential. So it represents the void, it represents, um, the soul as well, right? Without creation. The spirit that inhabits everybody, but on a higher level, it really, it, it, on a higher level, separately from the spirit, it represents the soul um, prior to physical creation, right? And then you have the magician, which represents um, physical creation in, in, its, in, its, in its prototype, Right. That's what the magician represents. That's the reason why the magician represents. Um, that's why the magician. Is displayed that way because it represents. The species. Existing at its prototype. Exit and its existence, even from back then. Look at how archaic it is. A person had to get creative. So, spirituality came about. And then, when spirituality worked, you understand what I'm saying? Through the process, now we have the world. So, the world represents an individual who inherits the world based upon their, based upon who they are. First, they realize that there's something wrong. Then they give up excessive violence. Then they read a book. Then they become the book. Then they realize they don't need the book at all, you know, anymore because they've become the book. So it's the same thing here. It's based upon your own perception, based upon your own uh, uh, existence. And where exactly do you want to go with this thing? So, um, so for you Aries, some of you Aries are going to falsely perceive that people don't like you. For some of you Aries, you're going to start to understand that a lot of people do and you are generally liked, which, you know, I can't say this for every single last Aries, but statistically speaking, yes, a lot of people really do like Aries, you know, take a look at, is it, is it Kristen or, or, or Kirsten? But Kristen Stewart, the person who played in the Twilight movies, right? How smart she is. You know, every time, like every time you, uh, I don't know if y'all notice about her, but every time she shows up and she gets a chance to talk, she basically drops some sort of fact. You know what I mean? Like, it, it <laughs> seriously, like, like I remember this one time because I like her. I remember this one time she was at this award show and she was saying how it is that she was like, you know, you know, it's like, it's like your, your, your body creates some sort of like, you know, um, ambient to kind of like calm you down in those breathtaking moments, you know, which was a fact. And then she was like, oh, you know, never mind or whatever. Like she's showing her, bril she's showing her brilliance and she's like, you know what I mean? Like she's trying to like hide it and show it at the same time. But anyway, so let's clarify the world. So you have the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Again, we already have a Fool card. Again, this, right? The Fool, understanding that people do like you. It's up to you to activate it. The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, things are going well for you, you know? You have a lot to offer. People want to offer you something. You may need to understand that. People may not, people may be going through the same battle where they may not think of themselves as being able to offer you anything. Have you Aries ever thought of, ever, have you Aries ever thought about that? Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace. Oh,